I'm Lieutenant Kyle Werner, and my research focused on using stereo vision to track an aircraft for automated aero refueling. I met Kyle when he expressed interest in the automated air refueling project that I'm conducting and he was later assigned as a master student under me. Automated aero refueling is the ability of an aircraft to be refueled by a tanker mid-flight without the need for a pilot. This capability will one day expand the roles of UAS and RPA in the Air Force and beyond. I really appreciated from Kyle that his diligence, uh, he would take the problems that we faced from week to week. Uh, he would understand them to, to a good degree, and then he would go out and uh, he was very resourceful in the resources that he would pull together to solve the problem. My system uses a pair of cameras that work much like our eyes. The camera pair allows the system to gain a 3D view of the receiver aircraft. And using 3D modeling and model fitting techniques, the receiver's location can be determined from just one image pair. My research integrated existing technologies in computer vision and 3D modeling to form a stereo vision system for aero refueling and then test the accuracy of that system. I tested my results in a 3D simulation. I would characterize AFIT students as uh, some of the best students in the world because they are all go-getters, they are all ambitious, and they're perfectionists for the most part. They, they want their work to be world class. When I heard about this project, I had assumed that the Air Force already had the capability to aerial refuel UAS and RPA. When I learned that we didn't, the need was immediately clear, and it was motivating to work on solving a problem that makes sense to someone with little to no Air Force knowledge. AFIT was the ideal place to conduct my research because it placed me in the same building as experts in every field. My research touched pilots, navigators, maintainers, as well as navigation and computer vision experts. The AFIT faculty was almost always available, and even faculty members not directly associated with my research were more than willing to work with me on the problems that I encountered along the way. I think having been an AFIT master's student uh, previously uh, helps me to relate to the experience that they're having, understanding the pressures that they're under. Uh, it's not common that when you go to school to get your master's degree that your success or failure in a fixed period of time is tied to your professional development, your professional career. And that's a lot of pressure that we put on them in that way. When you're so close to a major milestone in your research, but you've been stuck on a problem for days and days, faculty support is priceless. They provide an outside view, an expert opinion, or some knowledge just gained from experience that helps you clear those hurdles that otherwise would have taken months. I would tell anyone thinking of coming to AFIT for this program, commit to it. It's a really hard deal to beat and the environment here is designed to help you get your degree and make useful contributions in the process. AFIT is a force multiplier because the students and faculty at AFIT inherently understand the DOD mission and we have established labs that are world class. I hope that my research will become the foundation for the future of automated aerial refueling in the Air Force. If you have a challenge, bring it to AFIT.